I ain't doing this for half an hour or nothing, anyway. Nah, you ain't gonna... You don't have to take too much time. We're on. no fucking shit going on in my head. So this is uh interview with Wesley, part two. So in this interview, Wesley's going to talk about uh, some of his thoughts on you know, the way things are going and ask me some questions. I don't have any questions. We'll, we'll go there. All we'll right. see what happens. So what's, what's your thought about uh, your idea of Gods and clogs. Clods. Clods. Well, it actually came from a fucking episode of the 70s show where I heard the term. It's kind of fucking weird, but it, it makes sense if you think about it now. What's going on is there's the white collar, there's the blue collar, there's the people who are rich, there's people who are poor. But the people who are rich can't do anything for them fucking selves. They have to hire people to do the shit they need to do. But those people are the ones with the skills to do the things they need them to do. Now the kids these days, they go to school, they learn computers. They learn how to fucking do everything on a computer. They all got tablets, they all got phones. They, all, they don't, they never even see what a fucking hammer looks like. There used to be vocational schools everywhere. Used to be. Now, it's coming down to our world's about to go to a fucking war. Another world war, without a doubt. And what's going to happen is when they drop these fucking nukes, man, the only ones that are going to be able to do anything are the homeless people who know how to survive. Who know how to take a fucking piece of fucking wire they find on the ground and fasten stuff and fix stuff. And These people with these tablets, you can't ask Google to fix your fucking car. Right? Hey, Google, fix my car. Yeah, good luck with that. How are you going to do that when you have no power? When you have no fucking Wi-Fi? You have nothing. If you don't know how to use your fucking hands, like parents don't want to teach their kids shit anymore. Because they don't even know themselves. That's the sick fucking sad thing. Gods and clods. Gods, the ones with money, pay clods to fucking deal with their life. Honey-do lists are non-existent. They have a fucking handyman. That handyman is going to be the fucking new president. Or the new commander, if you look at it that way. Because us motherfuckers know how to fix stuff. We have skills. Hands-on skills. What bothers me is nobody teaches their kids anything anymore. They just push them to be lawyers and this and that. and To be the upper crust. Well, the upper crust is going to be the lower crust. It's going to be like the walking fucking dead. Basically, you need to have a house built. Who's going to do that? You? No. It's going to be guys like me who've done it. You need to build a shelter. There ain't even no kids. No, th there's not even Boy Scouts anymore. You, the kids don't even know how to fucking set up a tent, for Christ's sakes. That's what's wrong with this country. Parents don't interact with their kids anymore. They send their kids to summer camp, and they don't even teach them that shit there because they got tablets at summer camp. What the fuck's going on with our country, man? It's sad. It's scary. So what? I'm going to be one of the guys that takes over the world? I don't want that job. It's just, it's just ridiculous how things have gone where my dad made me learn a trade. Made me learn something. Made me go to work. None of these kids even work. They sit home and do YouTube videos and sit on Instagram and... What's the other one? Fucking fans only. These, these hot chicks showing their pussies for money. You ain't gonna be showing your pussy for money, dude, because fucking dude's just gonna rape your ass because there ain't no YouTube. It, it, our, our country's in a fucking really bad spiral, man. Nobody gives a fuck about that, but when the, sh when the, when the fucking... When the hammer hits the iron, it's gonna get ugly around here. It's gonna get scary. Girls ain't gonna be safe. There's gonna be no shelter because everybody knows how to do everything online. What happens when there's no online? What happens? You want your car fixed? Cars don't work. Oh, you gotta walk somewhere. You gotta actually do something for yourself, not have somebody else do it for you. That's why gods and clods make sense. The clods are gonna take over the world because they're the only ones that know how to fucking do anything. They know how to find water. They know how to fucking keep themselves clean in the most unforgiving fucking circumstances. 
Like, I bet you you take a fucking kid from California, Southern California, even the Southern states, bring him up here in the Northeast, and say, hey, I need to survive in this area for a month in three feet of snow. They ain't gonna know what to fucking do. They ain't gonna know how to hunt. They ain't gonna know how to fucking eat. They ain't gonna know how to skin a rabbit. They ain't gonna know how to fucking cook. They ain't even know how to start a fire because they don't have a fucking lighter and they don't have Siri to tell them how. That's what's wrong with our fucking country, dude. Technology's gotten way beyond. If you can't swing a hammer and know how to build something for yourself, you're fucked. You're seriously fucked out here. I'm homeless. I survive. I'm all right. I mean, I'm all right. I'm not great, but I'm all right. But these kids that are fucking brought up affluent, money, money, all oh, a fucking dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill is going to be his toilet paper. What the fuck are you going to do? Give somebody a fucking hundred bucks for what? To wipe their ass? Money don't mean shit. Survival is the key. It's, it's just disgusting. Like, what a, like, we're supposed to be the most fucking powerful, most fucking awesome country in the world, but we're not. We're a police state. We stick our noses in everybody else's fucking business. We give billions and trillions of dollars to other fucking countries. When there's a, a million and a half, two million, five million fucking homeless people out here. That have kids running around the streets. No shoes on. What the fuck is that? What the fuck did Ukraine ever do for us? Nothing. Israel, nothing. They have more money than we do. And they're the size of fucking Rhode Island. How the fuck does that compute? It's just... Our country's going to hell in a handbasket, dude. It's disgusting. Nobody teaches anybody anything anymore because the fucking parents don't even know how to fucking teach their kids anything. They don't. They don't. They're just worried about fucking being in debt up to their eyeballs and paying the bills. And I get it. I get it. But you still got to teach your kids basic survival skills. Just basic shit. It, it, if you can't teach your kids how to light a fucking fire. And your kids are out and say your parents pass away. Like mine did. My dad was fortunate enough to teach me how to do shit. My grandfather taught me how to do shit. To survive. Like you look at a tree. You don't have a compass. If you don't know if you don't know east and west, what side is the fucking what side? Where does the sun rise? That's east. Sunset. That's west. How do you determine north to south? You look on the wrong right side of a tree. There's moss on a tree. That's the north side of a tree. It's it's shit that I was taught. None of these fucking kids know that. And if there is a massive nuclear fucking bombing, if you ain't asking Siri how to fucking find your way home. There is no home. You make a home. And people knock the homeless. We know how to make a home. We know how to fucking do our due diligence. We know how to eat. It's just it's it's just getting pathetic, man. It's getting really sad and pathetic. People just talk shit constantly about homeless people. Oh, they're bums. How do you know we're fucking bums? I know more I have I've I've forgotten more stuff than most of these fuckers will ever learn. Literally. I'm only 43. Figure that out. Think I like being out here? Well, guess what? Being out here... I'll, I'll put up... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to see one kid who, who's, who's fucking been taking care of his whole life come out here for one week. One fucking week and put in a place with nothing. Almost like naked and afraid, but you can keep your clothes. It's cool. Let's see how you fare, boy. Welcome to the fucking Terror Dome. I'm done.